Welcome back to the Anglers Extra Pre-Game Show. Brandon Liebhaber alongside acting manager today, Pat McGee. Pat, you know, and usually you're not in this position, you're an assistant coach, you know, what do you take from this opportunity to get to manage the team for a day? <laughs> oh, it's no different than any other day. You just do the best job that you can and you hope everything works out. So first game of the season, it's at Wareham, a long you know, drive. You still got players coming in, so a lot of these guys you haven't seen too much. How have you dealt with you know, all the changes recently? Well, you just get accustomed to having guys come in and out of the organization, out of the city and town, and you make the best of it. They'll get familiar, we'll get familiar with them, and it's a game that they played their whole lives. That's the best part about it. You give them a routine, and we'll move forward. All right, so you're playing, you know, against a team uh, in Wareham that you know, Chatham's played, um, you know, number, has played a number of, you know, series that have a number of interesting games recently. You know, have you talked to the players about the history between these two teams? We haven't really. We, uh, we always enjoy playing out here at Wareham. I'm glad to get out here early in the year. Uh, that means we only have to come back one more time. But uh, they're a good team, and they always give us a tough battle, so it's a good way to open the season. Now for this game, we got a lot of players who uh, fall on both Chatham and Wareham who go to the same schools back in the regular season. I don't know if you saw pregame, you saw a lot of the Virginia Tech guys, the Louisville guys saying hi to each other. Um, you know, what do you, talk, what do you tell the guys on the team when you know, they're playing against guys who they're usually teammates with? Uh, not much. One of the great things about this league is the familiarity of teams and schools and players and it's a great experience for them to get to play against their teammates and uh, other opponents that they've seen all year long. But the bottom line is they're here to do a job and, and that doesn't matter if you got a teammate or a friend, you have to do what you're here to do. Has the coaching staff focused much on the exhibition game? Obviously the team struggled getting just a couple of base hits. Yeah, no, not at all. It's just, uh, it was it was actually nice to have a dry run. Uh, I know for me, when you're gone for 10 months and you come back, there's just little quirks that you want to get through. So just as I made adjustments as a coach, it was good for the players to get out here and have that opportunity. So I'm not concerned with it at all. All right, Scott Frazier is your starting pitcher today, a guy who pitched over 100 innings in the regular season. Are you looking for him to be a guy who can eat up a lot of innings? Absolutely. I think Scott has a great opportunity to come out here. He's a talented person, talented player, and, you know, as far as he can go, he'll go. And, you know, he's had a lot of innings this year, and we'll manage that and take care of him, and uh, he should have a great summer. All right. Thank you very much for taking the time, Pat. All right. Thank you. Back to you, Chris, on the Angler's Extra Pre-Game Show.